This is the Cambridge Key English Test. Test three. There are five parts to the test. Parts one, two, three, four, and five. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now, because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About thirty. That's not many. No, but more than last time. The answer is thirty, so there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. What time will the taxi arrive at the woman's house? Tommy's Taxi Company. Hello. I need a taxi to go to the city airport tomorrow. My plane leaves at half past seven. So you'll need to be there at half past six. I'll send a car at half past five. It usually takes about forty-five minutes. Okay. My address. Now listen again. Tommy's Taxi Company. Hello, I need a taxi to go to the city airport tomorrow. My plane leaves at half past seven. So you'll need to be there at half past six. I'll send a car at half past five. It usually takes about forty-five minutes. Okay, my address. Two. What will they give George? George wants a bicycle for his birthday, but they're so expensive. What about some videos or a guitar? He loves music. I know, but he's wanted one for a long time. Well, let's get him what he wants then. Now listen again. George wants a bicycle for his birthday, but they're so expensive. What about some videos or a guitar? He loves music. I know, but he's wanted one for a long time. Well, let's get him what he wants then. Three. Where will they sit? Do you want to sit under that tree, Granny? It won't be so hot there. I'd prefer to sit in the sun. It looks nice there by the river. Shall I put the chairs there then? Yes, they're in the car. Why don't you go and get them? I'll get the food ready. Now listen again. Do you want to sit under that tree, Granny? It won't be so hot there. I'd prefer to sit in the sun. It looks nice there by the river. Shall I put the chairs there then? Yes, they're in the car. Why don't you go and get them? I'll get the food ready. Four. What size does the woman buy? Do you have another one of these pink T-shirts? There's this one, but that's a size forty-two. I need a smaller one. Here's a forty. The size thirty-eight will be too small for you. Okay, thanks. I'll take it. Now listen again. Do you have another one of these pink T-shirts? 
There's this one. <laughs> but that's a size 42. I need a smaller one. Here's a 40. The size 38 will be too small for you. OK, thanks. I'll take it. Five. Which ice cream will they have? That was a good meal. You were a good cook. Are you full? Or would you like some ice cream before your coffee? That will be nice. Is it chocolate? That's my favourite. Actually, it's banana, made with eggs and cream. Ooh, lovely. Now listen again. That was a good meal. You were a good cook. <laughs> Are you full? Or would you like some ice cream before your coffee? That will be nice. Is it chocolate? That's my favourite. Actually, it's banana, made with eggs and cream. Ooh, lovely. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Laura talking to a friend about places to go. What is the problem with each place? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter A to H next to each place. You will hear the conversation twice. Hi, Laura. What shall we do this evening? I'd like to go to the cinema. It's always so hot in there. I'd prefer to go to the Mexican restaurant. The food's not at all expensive. They won't have a free table. You have to book before you go. Well, shall we go dancing? Haven't you heard? The disco isn't open anymore. If you like... We can go for a swim at the new pool. It's not dirty like the old one. But there'll be a lot of noisy children there. Well, how about the theatre? I haven't got enough money. The tickets cost too much. I know. Let's go and watch the football game on the sports field. It's just starting. You've got a coat, haven't you? It's not cold today. But the grass will be very wet after the rain, and I'm wearing my new shoes, so I don't want to go there. I think I'll go anyway. OK. Now listen again. Hi, Laura. What shall we do this evening? I'd like to go to the cinema. It's always so hot in there. I'd prefer to go to the Mexican restaurant. The food's not at all expensive. They won't have a free table. You have to book before you go. Well, shall we go dancing? Haven't you heard? The disco isn't open anymore. If you like, we can go for a swim at the new pool. It's not dirty like the old one. But there'll be a lot of noisy children there. Well... How about the theatre? I haven't got enough money. The tickets cost too much. I know. Let's go and watch the football game on the sports field. It's just starting. You've got a coat, haven't you? It's not cold today, but the grass will be very wet after the rain. And I'm wearing my new shoes, so I don't want to go there. I think I'll go anyway. OK. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to a girl speaking to a man at a job information centre. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. 
You have 20 seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Good morning. Can I help you? I'm looking for a holiday job. Maybe as a waitress or a cleaner? All I have at the moment is a job for a receptionist. Is that in the new hotel in the town centre? It's in a small office next to the sports centre. How old are you? Nineteen on Saturday. Fine. They're happy to take on anyone 18 or older. That's good. In a lot of jobs, you have to be 20. And when can you start? My last day of classes is on the 23rd, so I can begin on the 24th. Well, they want someone to work from the 26th, so that's fine. Is the working day from 9 to 5? Usually, you'll work from half past 8 to half past 4. But on Fridays, you'll start at quarter past eight and finish earlier. And what about clothes? Can I wear these black trousers? Yes, trousers or skirts in any colour. They don't mind. But your shirt must be white. OK. Shall I give you my name? Now listen again. Good morning. Can I help you? I'm looking for a holiday job, maybe as a waitress or a cleaner. All I have at the moment is a job for a receptionist. Is that in the new hotel in the town centre? It's in a small office next to the sports centre. How old are you? Nineteen on Saturday. Fine. They're happy to take on anyone 18 or older. That's good. In a lot of jobs, you have to be 20. And when can you start? My last day of classes is on the 23rd, so I can begin on the 24th. Well, they want someone to work from the 26th, so that's fine. Is the working day from 9 to 5? Usually, you'll work from half past 8 to half past 4. But on Fridays, you'll start at quarter past 8 and finish earlier. And what about clothes? Can I wear these black trousers? Yes, trousers or skirts in any colour. They don't mind. But your shirt must be white. OK. Shall I give you my name? This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear a man asking for information about a holiday in Ireland. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Good morning. Can you give me some information about your short holidays in Ireland? Certainly. You fly to Ireland on the Friday morning and spend two nights in a hotel, returning on the Sunday evening. So that's almost three days. What's the hotel like? Excellent. It's a five-star hotel called the Kildare. How do you spell that? K-I-L-D-A-R-E. It's by a lake, so it's good for fishing and walking. But if you want to buy some presents, there's a coach trip on the Saturday morning. You'll visit a factory where they make beautiful things from glass. Oh, good. I can buy some glasses for my cousin. She's getting married soon. How much does the holiday cost? It was £240, but this month we have a special offer of £129 per person. Can I book two places for next weekend? That will be Friday the 17th of November. Yes, that's fine. Can I have all your details?
Now listen again. Good morning. Can you give me some information about your short holidays in Ireland? Certainly. You fly to Ireland on the Friday morning and spend two nights in a hotel, returning on the Sunday evening. So that's almost three days. What's the hotel like? Excellent. It's a five star hotel called the Kildare. How do you spell that? K I L D A R E. It's by a lake, so it's good for fishing and walking. But if you want to buy some presents, there's a coach trip on the Saturday morning. You'll visit a factory where they make beautiful things from glass. Oh, good. I can buy some glasses for my cousin. She's getting married soon. How much does the holiday cost? It was £240, but this month we have a special offer of £129 per person. Can I book two places for next weekend? That will be Friday the 17th of November. Yes, that's fine. Can I have all your details? This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear a head teacher giving students some information about a fire practice. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. I'd like you to listen very carefully because I have some important information about the fire practice next Monday. I wasn't very pleased with the way the last fire practice went, so please make sure you know what to do this time. We're going to have the practice in the morning at 11.25. It'll take about 20 minutes, so you should be back in your classrooms by quarter to twelve. When you hear the sound of the fire bell, close the windows and go out of the classroom quickly. Leave your bags and coats in the classroom. In a real fire, there isn't time to get these. Everyone should leave the school building by the front door. Let's hope it doesn't rain on Monday. Walk across the car park and then stand together by the library. When you're there, your teacher will check your names. You must not run or talk during the fire practice. That's very important. Thank you. Now listen again. I'd like you to listen very carefully because I have some important information about the fire practice next Monday. I wasn't very pleased with the way the last fire practice went, so please make sure you know what to do this time. We're going to have the practice in the morning at 11.25. It'll take about 20 minutes, so you should be back in your classrooms by quarter to twelve. When you hear the sound of the fire bell, close the windows and go out of the classroom quickly. Leave your bags and coats in the classroom. In a real fire, there isn't time to get these. Everyone should leave the school building by the front door. Let's hope it doesn't rain on Monday. Walk across the car park and then stand together by the library. When you're there, your teacher will check your names. You must not run or talk during the fire practice. That's very important. Thank you. This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.
This is the end of the test.